Welcome back. In the previous video, we went over variables in Terraform. Let's go over locals now. So locals in Terraform are, are similar to variables, but variables are just used inside of your, your configuration or your module per se. So think of locals as, as variables defined inside of like a function. If you're, if you're thinking of like a programming language, think of like a method or a function. It's variables defined inside of that function, and that's where they're used. So let's just go through a basic example. So let's say, let's just have a prefix. So tuts VPC. So let, let's say our, 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 our setup right here is like tuts. So we keep repeating this tuts here, tuts subnet, tuts VPC, tuts example. So now like, we've repeated this tuts word three times and that's not very good practice in programming because now we're repeating ourselves and if we wanted to change the name to like you know foo we have to change it there then we have to change it here and we have to change it here so so that's not good so one way we can solve that is we can do a, you can use a local and the way to define that in terraform is just doing locals keyword locals and then a block expression so we have the locals and then our curly brace. And then now we can just define what we want. So let's just say our, you know, setup, setup name is going to be tuts. So now we have that set up and we can use that, you know, in our resources. And we just have, we have it defined in one place now and not in multiple places. So how do we replace that? So what we can do is we can set this here and to use a local variable, what you do is you do local dot the variable name. So let me just make a comment, but that you would do local dot, you know, just local and then set up name, set up name. So that, that's how you use it. So let's let's do that here and replace it. So let me just write this out. Local dot setup name. So now what we're doing is we're pulling the the local variable here from here and using it. So now if we change tuts, you know foo, this here would become you know tuts foo dash vpc. So one thing you might have noticed here is this dollar sign and uh, curly brace here. So this is called string inter interpolation. So basically what this does is just, this is just how you can use the variable, this local, or this locals, it's not technically a variable, this locals inside of this string here to, to, to uh, add the dash VPC. So if we wanted to just do name, you know, let's just do foo. And we didn't have any other string in here. We could just do local dot setup name if we wanted to. So now foo just becomes local dot setup name. You know. And then and then here it has the dash VPC. Alright, so let's go and define, you know, so we want to change this here as well. So let's change local dot setup name here and then local dot setup name here so these are a little bit different these locals than than variables you can do the same thing with locals that you would do with variables by like defining like you know different you can add an object here or a number it's up to you but you can't pass anything into locals you have to use locals inside of your your module and if you just have one main configuration file, this is that is a module. Um, and we'll go over modules in, in a couple of it, upcoming videos. But basically, everything inside of Terraform is a module. But don't worry about the term module at the moment. Um, but you can also do like expressions in locals. So like if we wanted to do like foobar, and we wanted to like, you know, capitalize every capitalize like will, you know, we could do upper, which is a Terraform function, which we haven't gotten to yet. But then we could use foo 
local.foobar in multiple places, and we're not doing like, you know, bar equals, you know, we're not doing, let's even just say foobar, or let's just say foobar, we'll do he, foobar there, and then foobar here, but let's say like, let's get rid of the upper. Uh, I'm gonna there, but what if we like if we wanted to do upper, you know, then then we have bar equals upper, then we have or upper foo bar, then we have upper here. So now we've like we've used upper twice in the same same local, which that's not a good practice because now you have it in multiple places. So it, it's better to just do upper here. So what upper does is upper cases the word, um, but now. We just have that. So now if, if, if foobar is ever changed, it's automatically going to be updated throughout our code. Okay. So that's basically uh, basics of locals. Uh, there's not much to them, very basic, but they have they, you can assign them different types just like with variables.